Alrighty, let's play this in full first. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. All right. Now, the weird thing is, uh, this is a really technical thing. I'm only hearing this from the left uh, headphone side here. But I checked when I record this and then I when I save this whole thing out, it does play on both sides. So whoever's listening to this, I think you should get this uh, stereo wise. But um, Dustin, if you could check on your end that your file is playing on both sides, maybe just my recording you know, puts the whole thing together uh, as a stereo um, something, something. Well, I don't know. Just check if you could check on your end. Now. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're Besides the cool render, and yeah, you talked about the render here. I, I told them, it's totally fine to show me like this. It doesn't have to be a play blast. It's a neat render. But the thing that happens when you look at it like this, A, it's very long, right? So we have... Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Yeah, it's really long. I, I had to play this, but it's only half frames. I didn't could switch to seconds here, but it's, what is this like between 15 and 20 uh, seconds? My main, uh, this is, I think this critique is going to be less detail focused in terms of, of animation. I mean, there's some things like when you go through something like this, where it feels like this whole part of the character is moving as one piece. See this, everything, everything is kind of parented and kind of uh, driven by this swing. And then as you come back here too, where all this is now one piece with this countering. I think it's, it's generally, it's not that I have problem like animation wise, you got some nice shapes, you got offsets. Maybe sometimes I'll maybe bring down that arm a bit lower and this one a bit higher to not have just not that it's tangents right there, but the, or the silhouette could be just a bit cleaner. Lots of bembos, blurs, nice. Where you want to be. Maybe it's a bit much. I think this is where we cut that in half. Or anybody. It's just most of the time it's very locked to the whole thing moving as one piece with a little bit of breakup but it just feels a bit stiff same thing like through here and the other main thing is if you scrub you see arm gesture arm gesture double arm gesture arm gesture arm gesture again one arm gesture double gesture and then that's it so I have a couple things. To me, it's very gesture heavy, um, even though it's not waste there. And I appreciate that it gets a bit closer, but it's still one of those where it's from here on up. And he's, I mean, he's, if you take the gestures out, he's basically locked in one spot on a, I don't know if the, if the background helps. It's not like you have to show someone here. It's just, to me, it seems more like a, a typical shot where there's a character in a either empty background or in this case like a big big environment and just doing his lots of gesture thing with a very long clip so like you mentioned that you're okay with all the notes it is very destructive but to me my first impression was just 20 gestures i would just rethink the acting choices and i would cut this up it's just not making as long. It's just it's just very, very long to look at someone that just stands there and gestures. If there's something where... You know, if, it's, if at one point, maybe he would walk further away and we just see his back and maybe he leans on this. Like you can you can use the set. If like, why did you use this set and how could we use this to your advantage? Is there maybe... Uh, you know, a bench where he could sit on and then you could change your mechanics a bit. 
Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You know, it could be a moment where him or her or anybody. And he goes, or anybody, like this could be a moment where he turns away, where like he's almost done with the conversation. Buddy, cowards do that. And, and he says all of this until cowards do that. And, and that ain't that is still from the back. And that's when he turns again. You, you're better than that. And that's when he turns again towards whoever character is there. And then he says, like, I'm trying to find moments where we can get away from this, where maybe maybe <clears throat> he's pacing left and right. And he turns away, but it's also, be mindful, like, this is Stallone, this is pretty specific acting um, style and look, and I'm curious what he's doing. I think this is one of uh, one of the Rocky movies. I would have to check, um, you know, what is he doing in the scene? Uh, I'm curious how the scene is filmed so that hey, we are avoiding um, you know, avoiding copying things, but that's kind of my broader critique. So it's less about, I'm less, I'm not really worried about, you know, your, your animation. You can get into fine tuning things, but it's, it's in a good spot. My main reaction is it's just a lot of gesturing. It's a lot of movement. Like there's never really any contrast because he's constantly moving around, right? So if we do this, you have a big gesture here, and then you got a big gesture here. Like this already, to me, is just as big as what you have at the end. It's even bigger. It's like this could be almost the biggest thing that's not even halfway through the shot. So my thing is, what can we do to make it more interesting in terms of the character using the space? Also the character in terms of mechanics. So it's not just standing and gesturing. Is this something where we want to start potentially, no, frame like this, but something more, more um, close up. And then he walks away so that he ends up maybe in something like this, right? He starts off closer, has all this, and it's just all in the face. And then he walks away, turns around, and, and maybe, you know, again, if there's a bench, maybe he could turn around and sit down and does all this. And at the end, he stands up to say this. Um, I just looking at stuff like this. I don't want to dictate the whole thing, but I would... I would think about how could we break this up in terms of more visual interest, which in turn, I think will force you to abandon all those gestures. Because you just have, to me, too many gestures. It's very subjective, but that's just my impression there. Um, and I still feel if we could cut this up like half the length, it's just a very, very long shot. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. It's already really long, but that could be just a section. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. And that ain't you. Anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You can't use that ending because he's mostly yelling. Not pointing fingers saying... Take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Worth, but you got to be willing. To now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. Cowards do that and that ain't you. Try to find a moment where. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. That could be a section, right? You can cut it just from this. And it's, it's less yelly. That's the other problem. Like he's constantly yelling. There's not much room for contrast either, performance-wise. But let's just say we use that section. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Yeah, it's tough to use other sections. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. That you yeah i don't know i, I don't see how you can use <clears throat> that beginning part and then use another smaller part it's, just, Worth. it's such a contained thing except this small piece there um so i would say i'm gonna leave it at that let me know what you think let me know if you're willing um you know if you want to explore adding things to the set so we can use the set more with potentially different camera angles you know maybe it's also something where we can we can think about, well, what if we start on something like this and then we cut to a wider shot 
you know, and maybe, maybe you could start on something where imagine this is more your framing and then you have the other person foreground, but it's all blurred out, right? But he is talking to someone. And then as he gets into something, take the hits and not pointing fingers. And all of this where he gets into his diatribe where he starts, you know, yelling and yelling and yelling. What if that turns into a profile wide shot where one character is just standing there listening and, and now this character is here and pacing around left and right and it's a full body shot. You show walks and everything. And then he, let's go back here. Maybe at the end, he, again, like I said, he turns his back towards this guy. This is the back, right? We, we're watching this in a wide profile view. And then we cut back to... Cowards do that. Cowards do that. And that's not what I said before, where imagine we're like this, but that it's the back of the character of this guy, right? This is his back and this is the back of the other character. But then you give it a, a turn where it turns towards us. We're then now... Now he's like this. Again, the back of the other character. Cowards do that and that ain't you! And you say all that last line maybe without a gesture and it's just all in the face. You're better than that! So I don't know. I don't know. I want to throw out some ideas. I'm just curious what you think. Um, because, you know, it's very destructive and it's, it's a lot of stuff you would have to redo. It's just, these are just my general impressions. I could be totally wrong. I would definitely ask other people as well. You never just get one opinion but my main thing is it's really really long it's stuck in one spot and it's extremely gesture heavy you can see this as you scrub it's just constantly like there's no contrast it's always always on 10 yelling 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 doing things and there's no there's no change of any energy um you know it doesn't isn't it never goes into any form of a more of a rest or neutral pose so that so that this makes a bigger impact because it's always like this it kind of takes away um, you know, from any any moment of oh, that's that's a big contrasting moment. That he's making a point there. So you know, he's constantly flailing around, and that's a bit, it's a bit of a bummer. All right, that's kind of what I have. Let me know. You can email. We can see what we can do with this. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.